Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a look at your love life for October 7th through the 15th. And we're going to look at the singles and also my Aries who are in a relationship and just what's surrounding your love life, okay? So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stick around. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, make sure you guys like this video after viewing it. If you enjoyed it, it is a good way to tell the algorithm to suggest more videos to you. And let's go ahead and see what's going on, okay? So we're going to start with the single Aries, and then we're going to go to the taken Aries and see what's going on. So my Aries who are single currently, what's the energy surrounding them for October 7th through the 15th? For my Aries who are single, surrounding their love life. Okay, so we have, this looks like the Ten of Wands to me because there's a lot going on. Um, we have the Mother of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the One, Two, Three, hold on, hold on, One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six of Swords and the high priestess bear with me i don't really use this deck to really count the um pentacles not other stuff i just look at the imagery and i look at the messages that kind of come through um to kind of read the cards but ne neither here or there let's see aries my single aries we have trust worth waiting for and codependency so let's talk about it so if you're single right now and you're an Aries, I do see that there is a bit of trust issues that are present and this may be affecting your ability to receive new love into your life. Or some of you may even be in the mindset of, I don't really want a relationship right now. Okay. This could be due to the fact that you've gone through a lot and emotionally, this has basically put you in a place of wanting people to overly prove themselves before you give them a chance before you even give them the time of day um there also is this energy of you waiting for something to kind of unfold this could be more for my aries who are like just now becoming single like you just broke up with someone last week you guys know how that is initially when a relationship just ends it's not like it's over over like people say it's over but it's not over over yet so this is mainly pertaining to people who just recently broke up with their spouse you may be waiting for divine timing to kind of play this situation out maybe in the next couple of months you'll give this person a chance some of you you're kind of fighting or teeter tottering between okay i'm going to give this person a second chance or you're not um i also get this energy of you guys also being tired of dealing with codependent partners. So this could be codependent in a sense where they have drug addictions. Um, this could be codependent in a sense where they depend on you to pay for everything, especially if you're a female and you hate being like the breadwinner in the relationship or the person holding it together or emotionally just being super clingy and you could be tired. Okay. But nonetheless, Going more into this reading, my single Aries, you just really dealt with a lot in regards to your love life. As of recently, for some of you, a little bit further into your past, but that experience could really scar you and, and put it to put you in a place to where you don't really know if you can allow yourself to be open with someone, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, strong energy coming through of Pisces, but yeah, you guys were looking for somebody who was going to take care of your emotional needs, whether that's somebody who's going to listen to you, somebody who's going to uplift you so that you can be on your grind and feel confident and, you know, make you feel secure in the relationship, whatever it may be that this person was lacking to do. That's an emotional need of yours. Some of you, it's like, you're the best thing for you to do at this point in your mind is for you to allow yourself to move beyond that 
Some of you want this to work. You wanted it to work, but you may be realizing that it's best in your, it's in your best interest, excuse me, to move on from somebody who's weighing you down, especially in an emotional sense. Some of you, you may have even overstayed your welcome in this relationship to begin with, feeling as if you weren't feeling supported by this individual and you were sticking it through way longer than you needed to. But a lot of you are coming to a space to where you don't want to do that anymore. And yes, you want to get back with them, but it's also this, well, I know I don't need to go back down that path. Okay. Interesting. Now, let's look at my Aries who are in a relationship. See what's going on with you guys during this time frame. My Aries who are in a relationship for October 2020 or October 7th through the 15th. What's going on with their love life? Aries who are in a relationship for October 7th through the 15th going on okay so we have the nine of swords we have the ten of swords okay a lot of sword energy a lot of mental energy and communication blocks we have um the ace of cups we got cards that fell but i'm not going to use these we have the Knight of Wands, and we also have the Strength card. Aries who are in a relationship. We have finances and career, passion, and you deserve love. So let's talk about my Aries who are cuffed up. So if you're in a relationship right now, the problem may be the financial aspect of what's going on here. You could be dating somebody who, let's just be honest, may not be making as much money as you are. And this could be a huge problem for you because you could be having to hold the relationship together as far as the finances are concerned. You may be paying all the bills at your house and you don't want to. Um, but you may be putting on your tough face like, oh, okay, well, it's fine, you know, and just being passive about the whole situation. Others of you, you may not be living with this person, but when you guys go on dates, definitely they're not paying and you may be having to pay. And this could be really making you tired or the person who you're dating, you just may be noticing that when it comes to their career, they're not giving it all they got. They may be you know, slacking and dragging you down. Um, some of you in your relationship, you want to focus more on your career. You could be feeling like your relationship is affecting your ability to focus. Um, your, uh, your career could be just being affected by what's going on emotionally in your relationship and this could also be bringing you down so there's a lot that's going on Aries but um a lot of you understand that you deserve love that's the thing though you understand that you deserve love and a lot of you also there is a lot of passion between you and this person who you're in a relationship with the passion's there some of you the sex could be great or the sex could be okay but a lot of you are starting to realize that you deserve more than just intimacy from this person you deserve somebody who can you know be your backbone and support you and with the nine of swords and the ten of swords it's a lot of anxiety associated with this relationship if it's doomed some of you there has been also moments of betrayal in the past in regards to who you're in a relationship with and you may be feeling very de defeated or depleted by this connection because you feel like this person's not taking in consideration of your feelings or what they're doing to you that may be detrimental some of you you could have taken a slight break from this person and you could have had a lot of anxiety in regards to leaving this connection and ending it but you love this person and some of you go through this fluctuation issue where one day you don't want to be with this person and the next day you may want to be with this person and it be it, it's because there's something inside you that's telling you something's off. That's why you're having moments of, yes, I want to be in this relationship. No, I don't. Because something's off and you're not getting your, your needs met. Now, 
during this time frame, a lot of my areas, you guys are going to stick it through in the relationship that you're in. You're determined to see something come out of it. But for some of you, what I will say is don't let the determination turn into stupidity. Okay. And I'm just leave that at that. I'm not going to go too in depth with that, but this is what I see. I wish you the best of luck, Aries, when it comes to your love life during this time frame. If you want a personal, because you got personal things going on like we all do, please make sure you check out my description box. Make sure you go ahead and get you a reading. My contact information will be there. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you like this video, and I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Aries.